So we're playing right now uh, with the people at the Tomorrow Children booth. You can go by and play it. Uh, we've got about 16 stations over there. You just jump in. This is a like semi sandbox game. How would you? What kind of genre yeah, would I mean, you describe this? Yeah, it's kind this? of uh, it's a mix of genres, so it doesn't really fit into one. But it is san it is a sandbox. You kind of do what you want to do in the game. Yeah. So uh, you don't really have to worry too much about being told what to do. You know, just just have fun. You know, just. But you have to work, don't but you? You have to work. Well, you don't have to. You don't even have to work, really. You can just live in the town if you want to. But um, in general, you're all working together like, to, to try and protect the town uh, from the marauding Izverug, the, the Russian giant monsters that come and attack it. We got the kaiju thing going on. Yeah, kaiju. It's our, it's our Japanese roots. Yeah, got to bring the kaiju. Oh, uh, someone, someone says the tomorrow children rocks. Yep, thanks, I think thanks, so. Thanks, John Lim WM. Yeah. If you Cold, have any questions Cold on the stream, we'll try to, we'll try to uh, answer them while we're yeah. waiting on the game to load up here. So uh, people over there have been playing it for a while, um, haven't they? And I, I hear they've been really kind of creating things in the town. So once we get in, we should be able to see that. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully we see some crazy stuff. We saw some We did an alpha uh, about two weeks ago. Yeah, public, uh, sort of public, semi-public alpha test. Semi-public yeah. alpha. And... Uh, and we saw some, some crazy towns. People. Yeah, yeah, people were really going crazy. So this game lets you uh, create things. <laughs> Uh-oh. At least the load times are Cold War accurate. <laughs> Ooh. At least we're getting better comments than yesterday where they called me Fat John Lennon. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'll take any compliment I can get. So, you know. <laughs> but uh, but uh, basically, uh, yeah, the, you, here we go. We're in the town now. You can create. Uh, the things and you can uh, destroy things and it's very flexible. So we, we didn't really put any limits in the game at all. So what am I seeing here? Who is this, this gentleman? Yeah. Oh, someone next to you there. Yeah. Uh, so these other players. So this is like an online game without the constant sort of multiplayer side to it. So you'll see other players uh, sort of come into existence in your world when they do things. So if they pick up an object or they or they line up for something, or they're driving uh, like a hover car, or riding the bus, they'll appear in your world. But apart from that, you're kind of by yourself in the world. Uh, I mean, we've got 26 players in the there world There you go. Right now. That's good. All right. So uh, why don't you get some uh, tools? All right. Let's, Have you got uh, any tools yet? Uh, yeah, get the jack grammar. There we go. So the jack grammar lets you build stuff. So. So you can build anywhere. So let's build a, a block there, just, just to show you. You should probably go and get the shovel afterwards as well, so you can dig some stairs. Yeah, I'll just put oh, it over Someone's here. built one there. So yeah, build one there. Now, every tool, it takes a bit of time to uh, use it. But as you, get, uh, as you skill up in the game, you get faster and faster. And also, you can collaborate. So. If you see someone doing, like, uh, trying to build something or digging a hole, you can collaborate with them, and it halves the time. There you go. So you built a block. Um, so right now, right now, I'm scrub level. I'm just a, I'm a lowly worker. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, but as I as I work more and get more, you know, XP, essentially, yeah. I I get faster, and if people help me, then I can do it even faster than that. Why don't we, you, should, you should show the, the people who are watching. You should show them the night goggles. The night goggles? Yeah, work? let's go and get the night vision. Which, which booth that. is that at? Uh, it is in the citizen booth, I think, over on the right. So if you go over to the right, that's the left. The other right. <laughs> this is the citizen booth here. Oh, sorry, it's not that one then. Sorry, it's in the other booth. Sorry. You don't know what you're talking about. I know, I don't. The, ra <laughs> the radio officer. The radio <laughs> officer booth. <laughs> On the left there. Uh, so right. in this game, uh, you're, uh, you can't really go into dark areas. You have to use light sources, and you have to make sure you're always in a light area. Otherwise, you, uh, in effect, die. I mean, there isn't really a dying in this game. You just get reset to the town. But, um, so there are these night goggles you can use, so, uh, which let you just go anywhere you want. Oh, there's a giant robot over there. Oh, yeah, they've actually got the, the robot constructed. Yeah. How many people are in this town? How many, uh, they, said oh, they've already uh, saved 84. Yeah, oh, cool. they're doing pretty well. 
This is a little hint for the future. Yeah, so this uh, robot isn't actually functional in this uh, version of the game yet, but uh, yeah, he'll, uh, he'll make his appearance in the, in the future. It's a little teaser. So, uh, yeah, try putting on the goggles. Or are you going to go over to the mount of the, the yeah, island? Yeah, I'm going to go over to the island. Yeah, go to the island. Yeah. Oh, this is a gun turret. Uh, try, maybe uh, shoot, the, shoot the gun at the, the island. Um, you can build these turrets, and uh, you can use these to help defend your town when the monsters start coming and attacking. Or, or you can destroy your own town. You control the town. <laughs> yeah. If you're a bad person. I'm a terrible person. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna destroy the robot. Okay, All so right. let's go over to the island. Let's see there. They've actually built a bridge here. Uh, yes. Kind of. Kind of. So if I walk out into the void, if I, um, this, is, this whole area, this expanse is, is called the void, right? Yeah. What is this a result of? Like, why, so this is the result of a, of a huge experiment that went wrong in the 60s in Soviet Russia. And, uh, and they've taken a lot of time to try and recover from this. Uh, and we're 100 years in the future from that point. But mm. the void is basically the entirety of the human race mold, like melted down. Like all their dreams, all their aspirations, <laughs> just melted into this white void. It's and uh, everything is born from this void. It's quite bland. Yeah. <laughs> so these, these, yeah, these bridges are uh, made by the players. I mean, you, um, these, are, these are void powers. You yeah, can make these just bridges, and um, you can dig like very long tunnels and stuff like that. So you can even, yeah, you can even dig into the side of the bridge if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to so troll the, the bridge as well. Yeah, all the geometry is uh, deformable like this. I wonder if someone will help you destroy that bridge. I need, yeah, I need so someone, someone at the booth come help me destroy the bridge. So while he's digging, you see, he appears in everybody else's world, and they can see him digging. So everyone kind of phases in, phases out. There you go. There. So, so it's I didn't really, like that wall. Yeah, you didn't like the wall. You have to get rid of it. As you can see here, the, uh, this, this island is in the shape of a head. Uh, there are lots of different islands, uh, which kind of re represent sort of abstract imagery like this. And all these holes and uh, sort of walkways that you're seeing in the island are being created by the other players. All right. So I, you see that as I'm in here, I start to lose my projection. Yeah, so you get a little hit, a little hit point bar kind of appears. So let's put the goggles on. All right. Oh, look at that. So this is uh, what we call our uh, sort of retro mode. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's the, uh, it's the, what was the, the Nintendo? Oh yeah, the Virtual Boy. The Virtual Boy, Virtual, Virtual Boy, Boy mode. mode. So um. This is actually a, um, a bug that occurred when one of our programmers was implementing uh, a certain feature in our graphics engine. And I came over to his desk and I saw it and I was like, we've got to put that in the game. <laughs> and like, from that point on, it went in the game. And as you can see, like, it just renders it all um, in a wireframe like that, which really takes me back to my, the, my origins in video gaming. Yeah. So it, it's really cool. One of the things, I love this little cave area because you can really see uh, some of the, the the lighting effects that we have going on in the game. I'm gonna yeah. move this. I'm gonna move this little light around here. Oh no! Oh, watch no. out for him. So when you explore these like islands, there are there are little enemies that come and attack you, and there are um, treasure. You, you know, there's treasure you can find, and there's uh, these resources you can find as well. And you take the resources back to the town, and that helps you build out the town and sort of make the town better Leave for everybody. Alone. Watch out! He's gonna I get. I don't you. have. Oh, a you're pushed out. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> it was out. my you, plan all along. You were pushed out of the window by the, <laughs> by the monster. Um, so it's, uh, it's very difficult to describe this game quickly, and we've only got a few minutes left. So yeah. uh, if you're here at the show, definitely go and try it out. And you'll be playing it you know, for hours. You'll just get really engrossed in the thing. It's just so much fun to play, I think. Yeah. I think this mosquito loves me. I must have sweet blood. He's, he's really coming after you, isn't he? These are glowing mushrooms. <laughs> uh, are there any tweets? Any questions here? I think someone asked earlier if there was a PvP, and uh, no, this game is all, it's all about cooperation. Yeah, but no, you can, you can fire a missile at other players, though. You, know, you, there are, you can get a missile launcher, mm. and if you're, if you're not as friendly as other people, you, you can sort of do that kind of thing. But there is a, you know, 
we this game is going is it's based on Soviet Russia and uh, that kind of like you know um, sort of closed state. So of course it has a secret police. So if you're going to do bad things, you are going to you know be caught up. You're going to be caught by the secret police, basically. I always got caught by the, the secret mosquito. The secret mosquito monster. Yeah. He really he, doesn't he like really, me. He really doesn't like you, that guy. Look at him. <laughs> All right. So I think so we have note, to wrap up on board.